Hello students, welcome to Light as a theme of chapters for lower secondary and upper secondary physics. As you probably have already been introduced in school, Light is actually subdivided into three different subtopics, which we will cover in due course. So the first thing that we have to understand is what is light? So here's a brief definition. It is the propagation of electromagnetic energy from place to place. So first off, probably the unfamiliar thing we have here is electromagnetic energy. This refers to actually the electromagnetic spectrum or EM spectrum for short. And this spectrum refers to a range of radiations all the way from gamma radiation to X radiation and etc. Well, what we're interested here is in visible light, which lies right in the middle of this spectrum. Oh, I'm sorry, there are too many dots here. There are actually seven regions that you have for the electromagnetic spectrum. So what all of this is, is very simply a propagation of energy from place to place. So what do I mean by a propagation? Well, you have a source of energy. Okay, this could be a light bulb. And it irradiates energy in all directions. Then you would usually have a plane or an observer. So let's just make this simple. Let's make this a giant eye. This is where you would see the radiation propagating. So in short, light is just a movement of energy from point to point. So that's the basic introduction of this entire chapter. Now, as I mentioned before, light is actually further subdivided into three subtopics as you will cover in secondary school physics. So the first is reflection, probably something you're familiar with. The second is refraction. And the third is lenses. So lenses tends to be a topic covered more in the upper secondary. And yes, you saw me fingering this. This is actually an example of a lens, but more on that another time. So focus here is on reflection and you might want to review all of these sessions in order of how it's covered, reflection, refraction, and lenses for you to get a better picture of the flow of content because refraction would depend on your understanding of reflection and so also for lenses. Lenses would depend on your understanding of refraction. So on to the first checkpoint. Let's give you a bit of content here first. All electromagnetic spectrum waves, including light, like I covered just now, travel at the speed of three times 10 to the power of eight meters per second. This is the speed of light as we know it. So the question we have here is this, it reads red light irradiates from a source, like I drew just now, 2.4 kilometers away. How long does it take to reach the observer's eye? So we could pause the video. Let's take five to 10 seconds to stop and think for a bit. So we can see this question is interested in how long it takes for light to travel this distance, 2.4 kilometers. You might have remembered that I shared with you, all light has a speed of three times 10 to the eight meters per second. This means that in one second, light can travel three times 10 to the eight meters. Now you may recall from primary school, the simple speed equation. Speed is distance over time. So all we need to do is simply to make time the subject here, distance over speed and apply it. So distance is 2.4 kilometers. We'll straight away reduce that to 2,400 meters divided by three times 10 to the eight meters. This is that time. And if we just punch our calculator real quick, 
there we go, eight zeros, you'll be left with quite a few zeros over here. One, two, three, four, five, zeros. So you move the decimal point five times, which gives you 0 0.8 times 10 to the negative five seconds. It's as simple as that. And there we have it.